Hi, for today's topic, I will teach you about operation of functions. But on this video, we will focus with adding and subtracting functions. Let's have the rules here. So the first rule, we have the sum of f plus g. Namely, if you have f plus g of x, that is also f of x plus g of x. In here, this just says that to find the sum of two functions, you just need to add them together. Then, you should simplify by finding the like terms. Next would be the difference of f minus g. So, simply saying, if you have quantity of f minus g of x, that is also equal to f of x minus g of x. So, in here, to find the difference between two functions, we have to subtract the first from the second. So, this would be different from the first rule, which is f of x plus g of x. You can interchange the two uh, functions there. But if you are looking for the difference of uh, f minus g, you have to make sure to distribute the negative sign to each term of the second function. And also, uh, you shouldn't interchange the functions here. So, what comes first should come first. So, in here, you should simplify also by combining the like terms. Let's have example. So, first we have g of x is equal to 2x. f of x is equal to negative 2x raised to 3 plus 2x. And we wanted to know what is g of x plus f of x. So, we know that g of x is 2x and f of x is negative 2x cubed plus 2x. So, what you are going to do here is to add them up. So, g of x is 2x. So, if you wanted to add, add it vertically, you just need to align the like terms. So, this would be negative 2x cubed plus 2x, adding vertically. Then, we add them up. So, this would be 2x plus 2x is 4x, positive. Then, we bring down negative 2x cubed. So, therefore, g plus f of x, because it's the same of this one, is equal to negative 2x cubed plus 4x. If you would, if you would like to add this horizontally, you can just simply write 2x, this is your g of x, plus negative 2x cubed plus 2x. Then we just add the like terms. How do we identify like terms? It should have the same variable, and it also should, be, uh, should have a uh, same exponent. In this case, these are the like terms. And negative 2x cubed don't have a like term on here. So this would be negative 2x cubed plus 4x. Next example. So we wanted to know g plus f of x. So our g of x here is 4x plus 5. Then we will add negative 3 x squared minus 3x. We will add the like terms first. So these are the like terms. So 4x minus 3x, it's simply x only. Then since we don't have any constants aside from 5, we write positive 5 here. Then this is negative. So we write negative 3 x squared here. If you want to arrange them, you sh your uh, exponent should uh, should be decreasing, meaning you will start with the high with the term with the highest exponent, then going to the constant. So this would be negative three x squared plus x plus five. So if you arrange them, um, what you're going to do is to include the sign. So g plus f of x is equal to negative 3x squared plus x plus 5. Okay, next example. We wanted to know what is g plus f of t. We use the variable t here. So this would be equal to negative 3t cubed minus 4t plus your f of t, which is 4t 
minus 4. I just used parentheses so that you can see each uh, each function. This is g of t and this is f of t. So this will be equal to, so we don't have like terms for negative 3t cube. We just copy it here. Then these are like terms, negative 4t plus 4t, that would be 0 only. And we have the remaining negative 4 here, so minus 4. So the answer for this one would be negative 3t cubed minus 4. Next example. So in here, we wanted to know what is h minus g of n. So this would be the value of h here is n plus 2 minus the value of 2n plus 1. Take note of this. We have subtraction here. So what you're going to do is to distribute the negative sign. So we copy the first uh, function first. So this would be n plus 2. Then negative times 2n, that would be negative 2n. Negative times positive 1, that would be negative 1. Then that's the time that we will um, simplify this by adding like terms. So n minus 2n is negative n because we have 1 here. Then 2 minus 1 is positive 1. So the answer for this one would be negative n plus 1. Let me give you another example. So let's say your f of x here is 3x squared plus 6x minus 5. And your g of x is 4x squared minus 6x minus 5. And we wanted to know what is g of x minus f of x. So in here, it is very important that you uh, use the correct uh, functions or which function comes first. So in this case, g of x comes first. So this would be equal to 4x squared. So we copy the first given or the first function, which is g of x. So 4x squared minus 6x minus 5. Then we will subtract the f of x function, which is 3x squared plus 6x minus 5. Next, we'd be distributing the negative sign. So we copy the first function, 4x squared minus 6x minus 5. Then negative times positive 3x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative times positive 6x is negative 6x. Negative times negative 5, that's positive 5. Then we combine like terms. So like terms here are 4x squared minus 3x squared. And that equals x squared only. Negative x minus 6x. Uh, negative 6x minus 6x rather. Since they have the same signs, what you're going to do is to add them up and copy the sign. So this would be negative 12x instead. Then negative 5 plus 5 is just simply 0. So the answer for this one would be x squared minus 12x. Okay, next example. So we wanted to know what is g minus f of n. So g of n is n squared minus 2 minus 3n plus 5, which is your f of n. So just so I'll distribute the negative sign here. This would be n squared minus 2 minus 3n plus 5. We can now remove the parentheses here so you won't be confused. So n squared, um, by the way, let me correct this first. This is not positive 5. This should be negative 5 because negative times positive is negative. Okay, so this would be minus 2 minus 3 n minus 5. So we don't have like term for n squared, so we just copy it here. Then we just copy negative 3n. Then negative 2 minus 5, since they have same uh, sign, we add the digit, then copy the sign, which is negative. So this would be negative 7. So the answer for this one would be n squared minus 3n minus 7. Okay, next. We wanted to know g minus h 
of a. So this will be equal to 2a plus 3 minus a minus 1. So we distribute the negative sign. So 2a plus 3 minus a plus 1 since negative times negative is positive. Then 2a minus a is simply a. 3 plus 1 is 4. So the answer for this one is a plus 4. Next, we wanted to know g minus f of n. So this would be 3n minus 5 minus 3n plus 2. So this would be 3n minus 5, then distribute the negative sign. So this would be negative 3n minus 2. 3n minus 3n is 0. The negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. So the answer for this one would be negative 7. Okay, next example. We wanted to know h plus g of t. So this would be t cubed. Or we will change, oh yeah, we, this is t cubed plus 2t plus t minus 1. We just combine similar terms. So this would be t cubed, then 2t plus t is equal to 3t. Then we copy the constant negative 1. So the answer here would be t cubed plus 3t minus 1. Okay, in here, we wanted to know f plus g of x. So, f here is negative x minus 5, and we add x squared minus 4. So, since we don't have similar term here for x squared, we just copy it here. Negative x, we just copy them. And negative 5 minus 4, that's negative 9. So, the answer for this one would be x squared minus x minus 9. So that would be all for today. Thanks for watching and that is our math minute for today. Uh, on the next video, I will teach you how to multiply functions. So please stay tuned and I will upload the video not later than today. So uh, if you have any questions, you can ask it on, your, on the comment section. And if you want to give additionals, then uh, the comment section is free. So once again, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and God bless.